Hey, how you doing? Guess what? <clears throat> this weekend I had a clogged toilet. So today we're going to look at what I did to clear out my clogged toilet back here. Now, there's tons of videos out there on YouTube and I actually looked up on how to do this. So that's the purpose of this video is to show you that I did a little research on YouTube and found out that uh, <laughs> it actually works and I tried some other ideas you know with the plunger and some vinegar and all that uh, but this method actually worked for me so let's take a look at the uh, toilet and I'll show you what happened and I'm gonna try not to be disgusting here and try to make this as professional as possible so here's the new the head the crapper whatever you want to call it now this is completely good to go, but what happened is that the water would not flow down. So I'd flush it and, it, and it, the water would go up to the rim, and it would just slowly, 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 slowly creep down. And I was thinking, well, how the heck am I going to get this going here? It's not a really bad leak, and of course you want to, if you really have a bad, stop, stocked up, stopped up toilet, you want to call the uh, call the plumber for advice or have them come out. But before you do that, try this, okay? So I'm gonna move the camera back over here. Sorry about the jittery, jittery, jittery. Try to get everything in here. This is what I want you guys to do. Like I said, I tried uh, distilled white vinegar. I don't know. It seemed like it worked a little bit, but you don't know. So what you want to do is get some extremely hot tap water here going. I mean, hot, 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 hot. Right. So you fill this up. Now you want this to be as hot as it can be. Not tepid, you know, lukewarm, but I mean hot, hot, where you stick your hand in there and, and, and ooh, that hurts, you know, you don't want to stick your hand in hot water. So watch this. Pour the hot water into the bowl. Okay. Now what's going to happen is that the bowl is going to, the water level is going to stay right up to the rim. What you want to do is get your favorite dish soap. I'm using palm olive here. Squirt about, oh, I don't know, eight ounces or so in there. What's this going to do? It's going to soak down to the bottom. Then take another bucket. As it starts to flow down, uh, fill, fill it back up with hot water. Okay. What what I think is going on is that this is making everything nice and slippery inside the bowl, and the bowl itself has a kind of does a weird snake maneuver type thing. So this gets right down to the bottom. The hot water helps get everything nice and uh, lubricated in there and hopefully it'll push it out. Now, I gotta tell you, what I did was I filled up that little bucket, little two and a half gallon bucket, probably about five or six times. You need patience when you do this. It's not, it's not gonna be instantaneous. Uh, it's not gonna work immediately. You gotta let it set in there. The, while you have the water, you initially poured in the hot water, squirted a little bit of dish soap in there, then refilled it up with hot water. Let it sit for, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 minutes minimum, and go do whatever you need to do. You know, make sure you're clean, you know, wash your hands when you're working around, around all this too. So let it sit. Go back with another gallon 
or two of water, of hot, 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 hot water. Can't, can't stipulate that enough. Put the hot water back in there and then let it, let it flow down. If, if the, when you pour the water back in there and it goes up to the rim and immediately goes back down, your clog is probably taken care of. Then hit the flush and see what happens. Should be good to go. And that's what I did after about 15, 20 minutes. Uh, I poured some more hot water in there and phew, went right down. I flushed it, phew, went back in there. Just for a little bit of added you know, security or whatever, I added probably another three more bucket loads of, of hot, hot water and just to make sure everything was flowing good. Now it's flowing beautifully. So, the, hopefully it works for you before you have to call the plumber. But, you know, of course, a professional is going to have all kinds of stuff to, to clear your toilet. And another thing I noticed, too, you know, you don't see this a lot on videos, is if your tub and your sink or your shower is draining properly, you know that the clog is in the toilet. If it's not draining in the tub or in the sink or in the shower, and it's, you know, it's building up the water level, guess what? you got bigger problems. You may have to, then you would more than likely need to call the plumber and figure out what the heck's going on with your drainage system. But in my case, it was just the, the toilet stall. And, you know, not to be disgusting and all this, you only want to put biodegradable stuff in there. You know, your human excrement, uh, you know, good biodegradable quality toilet paper, uh, that stuff that those wipes that you know are flushable. You know, jury's out on that. It's your your call on that. But don't ever put anything in the toilet that isn't supposed to be there. You know, um, or not supposed to be flushed because it'll be kick you in the butt in the long run if you really you really have it. You know, sopped up in there, stacked up in there. But um, another good point to do is gave everything a nice good cleaning in here and used and used uh, bleach. You know, bleach will kill about 99.99% of bacteria and all this. So I got in there and cleaned everything out real good with the uh, in the stall. And that really um, really made it smell good in here again, to be honest with you. Uh, the plunger, you can use the plunger, um, you know, to kind of make maybe shake things up a little bit in there get things going, uh, but I found that the, the dish soap was, phew, was amazing. You gotta have a little patience. It's gonna take a little time. Don't think that this is gonna happen crazy. And, it, and if you have one bathroom and you got multiple people need to go, well, you know, you wanna time that a little bit better, I guess. But this works. Uh, I found it on a YouTube video and I decided I'd make my own video and help you guys out and see and show you that, you know, you can do it. Do it yourself. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching and appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video and look at my bathroom that, that is now clean. All right. We'll see you later next time.